In Hollywood, films are judged by the bottom line. How much money did they make? How much money did they cost? And how much money did the studio executives get to pocket? But sometimes, movies that have flopped at the box office get an unexpected second life, becoming cult classics as audiences slowly discover them. Here's a look at some beloved movies that totally bombed at the box office. Highlander while today it's considered one of the best sword and sorcery fantasy films of the 80s, Highlander wasn't so well received when it premiered in 1986, earning a grand total of $12.9 million against a $16 million production cost. Once Highlander was released for the video rental market though, it did much better with viewers and gained a cult following. The fanbase grew so large that high demand eventually resulted in the creation of five sequel films, a live-action television series that ran for six seasons, a series of books and even comics, with a big screen reboot rumoured to be in the world. So much for the claim that there could be only one. The Boondock Saints If it hadn't been for the now defunct video rental chain Blockbuster, The Boondock Saints never would have stood a chance. Showing in only five theatres in the US, the film earned just $411,000 worldwide in 1999, despite costing $6 million to make. Then Blockbuster stepped in, inking a deal to distribute the film as a Blockbuster exclusive. The movie soon gained a massive cult following, bringing in over $50 million in DVD Blu-ray sales, spawning a sequel in 2009 and a new TV series, one without stars Norman Reedus and Sean Patrick Flannery. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World Critics loved Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, calling it funny, heartfelt, hilarious, vivid and wildly inventive. Unfortunately though, critics seemed to be the only people who actually went to the theatre to see it, as Scott Pilgrim failed to earn back its production costs, earning less than $48 million worldwide against a reported $60 million production budget. Throw in another $25 million spent on advertising, and Scott Pilgrim seemed doomed to be a massive bomb until it sold over 300,000 copies on Blu-ray and DVD in its first week alone. Dread. Despite a built-in fanbase from the comics and widespread critical acclaim, the 2012 action flick Dread earned just $41 million worldwide, which sounds like a lot until you consider it cost $50 million to make and another $25 million to market. Part of that might be lingering bad taste from the 1995 Sylvester Stallone version Judge Dread, but much of it had to do with bad timing. Just a year earlier, the cult hit The Raid Redemption featured almost the exact same plot, leading many fans to consider Dread a second-rate copy. Judgment time. Whatever the reasons for its theatrical failure, nothing could keep Dread down once it hit the home market, where it became an instant success. Dread sold over 650,000 copies in the first week it was available on DVD and Blu-ray, and by 2017, its total video sale earnings topped the $20 million mark, leading to rumors of a possible revival of the franchise. I am the law. The Chronicles of Riddick after first appearing in the 2000 film Pitch Black, Vin Diesel reprised the role of Richard B. Riddick in the 2004 sci-fi epic The Chronicles of Riddick. With a budget of $120 million, it needed to be a hit just to break even. It wasn't, and it didn't, earning just $150 million worldwide. Diesel was even nominated for a Razzie Award for Worst Actor for his effort. Eventually, though, fans caught on and slowly turned The Chronicles of Riddick into a cult hit, eventually spawning a 2013 sequel, as well as numerous books, action figures, and even video games. I bow to no man. The Rocky Horror Picture Show It may be the movie with the longest ever theatrical run, but the Rocky Horror Picture Show bombed during its initial release in 1975. Although it was based on a popular stage musical, the film adaptation earned only $21,245 in its opening weekend. The studio yanked the film from most locations, but one exec had a brilliant idea. Why not run it as one of the midnight shows in the Waverly Theatre in New York City? Literally overnight, it became a hit with the Waverly crowd, who just a few months later turned it into an interactive experience by shouting improvised lines at the screen and singing along. The midnight showing soon spread to other theatres around the country, along with the habit of shouted audience callbacks. Eventually, dedicated fans began to form shadow cast performance troops, acting out the film in costume on stage as the movie plays out on the big screen behind them. Within a year, Rocky Horror went from a box office bomb to a cult sensation that's still going strong over 40 years later. I see you shiver with anticipation. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.